back or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Hello? Today we're going to be making tiramisu, which is Italian for pick me up. It's a dessert that was created in somewhere in the northeast of Italy. Wikipedia tells me in the 1960s or 70s, but its origins are unclear. Uh, this dessert is based on coffee, ladyfingers, mascarpone, which is a soft uh, dessert cheese, and eggs. So I adapted this recipe from a website called Yellow Saffron. It's an Italian website, so Giallo Zafferano. But anyway, I only used a third of the recipe to cut it down just because I was using leftover ingredients in what I already had in my kitchen, so I wasn't making a full serving. Also because I was only making it for myself, and I don't need a full tray of tiramisu in my house. So some of you might know Kelly Stamps and that this is her favorite dessert. I discovered her channel through her video on how I stay unbothered. Love her work, love her content, but this tiramisu is all for me. Let's get into it. So the first thing I want to do is separate the egg whites from the egg yolks and mix the egg yolk with sugar. And then afterwards you'll add in a little bit of mascarpone. silly and mistook the sugar for salt um, so thank goodness I tasted it before I got too far because it would have been a very big disappointment. Sick! So now I've started over, you can see I'm measuring out the 25 grams of sugar and then I'm going to separate the egg white and yolk, add the yolk to the sugar and mix, mix, mix. stir it until it's a smooth and homogenous mixture. And in three, two, one, I'm gonna start licking the whisk because dairy is my crack and I love mascarpone and anything that has cream in it. Now 
add the egg whites to the egg yolk and mascarpone mixture. Um, you'll want to fold it in as you'll see in a little bit, but that way you don't knock the air out of the egg whites and it stays light and fluffy. So now it's time to assemble the tiramisu, which is where all the magic happens. I was a little bit premature by dipping the ladyfinger in the coffee. <laughs> you want to start with a layer of cream on your base. And then to that, you'll add the ladyfingers that are dipped in coffee. And they soak up the coffee and get really spongy, kind of like cake. Um, so they have a really great consistency and it's just so good.
so that it comes out really smooth instead of lumpy. And you'll see later that I'm like breaking up some of the clumps with my hands. And you spread it all over the top of your tiramisu. And then she'll be ready for the fridge. two to three hours to set but you can leave it in there up to overnight and I recommend doing it overnight because the flavors come out a little bit more when you serve it okay it's time to try the tiramisu <laughs> If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. The tiramisu is delicious, as you guys saw me stuffing my face with it. And I've linked the recipe in the description box down below. Comment down below if you've made tiramisu before, or if this video has inspired you to make it, or if you've had it and you like it, or if you had it and you don't like it, um, just let me know. Also, if you want to see what I'm up to these days, um, you can follow me on Instagram and take a look at my website where I have a blog of all of my adventures since 2018. Like and subscribe if you want more content. I'm gonna go inside now before the rain starts to flood my computer. Thanks for the support and hope to see you in the next one.